can't believe it was 25 years ago since we launched. That seems almost impossible. When that hatch shut, I realized, oh my gosh, this is really going to happen. <laughs> The moment of ignition, there is absolutely nothing like it. There is so much power, so much thunder. You know that something you have no control over at all is happening for the next eight and a half minutes. There's uh, rocket fuel that's in a controlled explosion beneath you, but yet the experience is just so new and so different that it seems like it's over in a heartbeat. The memories to me are as if it were yesterday. When the space shuttle's engines cut off and you're finally in space, in orbit, and weightless. And then I remember unstrapping from my, my seat, floating over the window, and that's when I got my first view of Earth. Just a spectacular view and a chance to see our planet as a planet, which very few people have the opportunity to do. I could see coral reefs off the coast of Australia, a huge storm swirling in the ocean. I could see an enormous dust storm building over northern Africa and then starting its way across the North Atlantic toward us. Unbelievable sights. I remember the first time that I looked towards the horizon, I saw the blackness of space and then this bright blue earth. And then I noticed right along the horizon, it looked as if someone had taken a, a royal blue crayon and just traced along earth's horizon. And then I realized that that blue line, that really thin royal blue line was earth's atmosphere and that was all there was of it. And it's so clear from that perspective how fragile our existence is. It makes you appreciate how important it is to take care of that atmosphere. On my second flight, we carried a variety of Earth-looking experiments. We were actually in Earth Sciences flight, and so I had uh, the chance to use the shuttle's robot arm to release an Earth radiation budget satellite into space. And that's a satellite that was active for about seven years monitoring Earth's greenhouse effect, and it was the first satellite to actually perform that function. We also carried uh, a big radar with us in the payload bay that was studying uh, land features, landforms on Earth and the surface of the ocean. So it was seismic uh, features on Earth and getting some elevation and topography data. Several advanced successors of that radar have flown in space and have since given us the most detailed topographic 3D map of the surface of the Earth. And they've really revolutionized the way we're able to look at the surface of our planet. 